So hello and welcome to the show with me, Lisa Gibbons. And today we are here and we're talking to Pete Burgess. He is founder of Crypto Gibraltar and we're going to speak all about his upcoming festival and what's going to happen um, on the ground and in the metaverse. So Pete, lovely to have you here. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you very much for inviting me. Well, can you tell us a little bit about your background first, Pete? How did, how did you end up in Gibraltar? <laughs> Um, so, so I'm, I'm a, I'm a sales and marketing guy. So I started off in various B2B companies on the sales side, um, ended up running sales marketing operations and then set up my own marketing agency, which I ran for 20 years, um, came to Gibraltar, um, primarily because we wanted to try something different. You know, we'd, um, we'd, we'd, we'd lived in the UK for our entire lives. Our kids were, um, were small um, and uh, and wanted to try something different, but something that wasn't too far removed from the UK, uh, in case we didn't like it, in the case we needed to come back. So um, so we moved down. We actually live in southern Spain, just about twenty minutes up the road from from Gibraltar, um, and uh, uh, yeah. So so my my involvement with crypto jib um, was just that. Uh, I was looking at um, events. I felt that Gibraltar had a, a huge amount to offer as a potential um, event venue um, due to its proximity. So it's only a two hour flight away from the UK. It's got some, you know, some great facilities. Um, and I looked around and it was just at the time that Gibraltar was introducing its uh, DLT regulatory framework. So 2017. And it just struck me that there was a great opportunity to produce uh, an event around that and so we we launched um crypto it was actually called something different then it was called jibfin um but we did it uh, we did the first one at the end of 2017 um and um in those days it was great because it was full of uh crypto evangelists so you know this was about a social movement rather than um you know any kind of uh, economic forum so these were these were guys that just wanted to remove um governments and country borders and um and it was just really really interesting we did it again in 2018 took it to london uh the end of 2018 um and then covid struck um kind of killed everything overnight for two years it was extremely difficult uh and then we uh, we managed to get it running again at the end of last year uh and uh feedback was really really positive um and uh, and so yeah, and now unbelievably, it's a year later, and it's time to do it all again. Um, and the main the main thing from our perspective was we just wanted to do something that was on a slightly bigger, not slightly, a uh, hugely bigger scale than we've done before. So what we're planning is uh, what will be, I think, the biggest trade event that Gibraltar has ever seen. So uh, yeah, exciting. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, that that brings me on to the main topic because um, we skipped a few a few a few questions, <laughs> but I think that um, Gibraltar being a hotbed for crypto. So you were there before the hotbed status, and um, this year, what can we expect from the event and from the conference um, on September twenty second, sir? Twenty second to the twenty fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so I think what's interesting about uh, Jib is that. Um, there is this, there is this massive debate and movement between the traditional world, the traditional financial world, and the the new financial world. And if you like, it kind of manifests itself in the debate between DeFi and CFI, which goes around and around. Um, and it's like Gibraltar sits kind of right on that junction. And so, what we do um, when we're designing the event um, is we try and make sure that we. Uh, we cross that boundary and we cross both sides of that. Um, but also, um, we've always been very conscious that, you know, in my view, the main reason people want to come to events is, is networking. It's building relationships, um, you know, reinforcing existing relationships, building new ones. And so we, we decided to create something that was primarily a networking event, but where there is then... Um, some some you know some serious conference sessions and some fun conference sessions um but but it's in in, in a sense it's like the conference um gives you the kind of business rationale to to come and do some proper networking and have some fun for two and a half days um so 
So from a content perspective, um, well, actually, so, so the structure is we do, we have a welcome reception on the Thursday night. Um, and then lots of, lots of tapas, I hope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no <laughs> shortage of that. Um, and then we have uh, a registration on Friday morning, and then we do a half day of conference on the Friday uh, afternoon. And then on the Friday evening, there's a VIP dinner. Um, but we're also doing something which we're, we're just working on the, the, um, the detail at the moment. But, but essentially, we're trying to create a kind of immersive metaverse experience. Um, we've, we've always tried to do some slightly different funky parties on Friday night at the event. So last year, we did it in a thing called St. Michael's Cave, which is actually a cave right inside the Rock of Gibraltar. Um, wow. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really cool venue. And they've created a whole um, uh, kind of touristic experience there with light shows and sound and the rest of it. So a lot of the feedback we got from last year's event was really, really positive. And a lot of it was to do with this party that was like just people were like, whoa, this has never seen anything like this before. So um, so we, we kind of um, have created a bit of a rod for our own backs, though, because we've kind of set the bar up here in terms of doing something different. And so this year it's like, well, you know, what do we do now? Um, and so. We've had this idea where we're going to create, as I say, this kind of immersive metaverse experience where we're going to take a, um, we're working in partnership with a company uh, who who run a, uh, basically a nightclub in the metaverse. Uh, and the idea is that we're going to uh, stream uh, DJs through the online club, but into the real world. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're also going to have the founder of this business who incidentally is also is also an, uh, an NFT artist um, and has and has a, a collection. He represents uh, about 150 different DJs. He's going to play live, um, and so you're going to have this. Hopefully, this experience where you'll be able to be some on big screens. There will be um, the, the 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 metaverse, and then you'll be able to to log into that on your phone, and you'll be able to interact with people in the online experience, but also be able to see them in the real world, just standing over there. So. So you'd be able to interact with interact with them in both. Uh, what's the what's the not well, both um, the metaverse and the universe. You know, um, so that's what we're trying to do for the Friday night. Um, it's it's we're still working on the detail, but I think it's I'm it's going to be funky. It's going to be cool. So that's going to be that's going to be good. But then on the Saturday morning, um, assuming everyone's in a fit state, then um, we will have a big uh, brunch networking event. And then we do another half a day's worth of sessions on the Saturday afternoon. Um, and then in the Saturday evening, we're going to have a, uh, the, the event is based in a place called Ocean Village, which is um, kind of on the northern tip of, of, of Gibraltar. And it has a number of different venues in it, club venues and so on. So we're going to take over a number of different venues that we'll do in partnership with, uh, with different uh, companies, different sponsoring companies. Um, and they can brand things, and they can theme it in the way they want to. And people basically just better move from one, party to the other so so we're, we're just turning the whole of what the whole of ocean village into a party venue um and then on sunday if people still got the energy then uh we're going to just do a bunch of recreational activities so we're going to run some you know exploratory stuff around gibraltar if people would like to see it to see a bit more of the place um it's only very small it won't take you very long um and uh, but then we also might we might run some trips into Spain. So Tarifa is twenty minutes up the road, which is the kite surfing capital of Europe. And if people are just going to want to go and see the massive beaches and whatever they can do that, or we might again we're inundated with golf courses. It's not golf is not necessarily synonymous with crypto, but you never know. Um, so um, uh, and then I think people will probably jump on planes on Sunday or Monday um, and uh, have a couple of days to recover. Yeah, it sounds amazing. I mean, for me, the, that interactive metaverse experience is very unique and it's very um, telling about the way things are going. You know, the emergence of events in real life events and then virtual events. Because I, I was saying to you before that I would attend a lot of virtual events where you just have to go in as your avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an idea to have an in real life event where the metaverse is playing to you. I think that's genius. So we're going to, I'm like, I'm dying to experience that. I think that will be a very unique experience in all on its own. And um, as well for, for Gibraltar, I don't know, do you know this about me, but I have a master's in, in international tourism. So I think taking the, the world of crypto and the world of um, blockchain, NFTs and metaverse 
and 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 bringing the skill skill sets of um, Web two to Web three is really important. You know, if if and what you're doing with your conference seems to be doing a lot of that that those learnings in Web two and bringing them into Web three. Would I be right? Yeah, well, I, mean, I just I, I like this whole idea of just bringing different worlds together. Mm -hmm. You know, and mm -hmm. and uh, in this particular instance, yeah, we're talking about you know, the metaverse and reality, but, but in the same way you were talking about, you know, the traditional financial world and the new financial world. Um, and we've, people, young people my age understand the, um, just the enormity of the change that we're living through, you know, for, 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 um, for a lot of people, I talk to my kids about all this all, you know, all of the time. And um, they just, they, they don't get, how much the world has changed in the short time they've been around because even when they were you know when they were they, their kids they don't remember that when they were when they were smaller they don't remember that so so i see this just the enormity of the change that goes on and i think we're extremely fortunate to be in a position where we can reflect some of that and we can use it in a kind of educational sense in the same way that you know some of the other events that I that I that I've run around crypto funds, and and that's about taking people from the traditional world and saying, look, if you're thinking about this new world, which is quite, um, it's it can be difficult. You know, you suddenly for, for you look at this kind of almost impenetrable wall of eighteen thousand different coins that have been created, and people go, where's the entry point for this? You know, mm -hmm. how do I how do I access this? I have no idea what even the questions are that I should be asking, or you know, what are the what are the key things that I that I need to understand? And it's that that movement, that kind of educational element that um, that I think is really important, and I enjoy it. And so, for me to be able to organise events that help people to make make that kind of transition uh, is um, it's great. It's very rewarding. You know? Yeah, and that um that brings me on to a question that I had prepared: is if there was three things you could you could ask delegates to take away from the conference what would those three things be obviously education is very important to you so that would be a big one <laughs> I presume. yeah it depends if it depends if you're talking about kind of i mean to be honest the three the three things i would really like for people to to go away would be to think that was really good fun that was really productive and i'm definitely coming back next year um yes. actually i'd be quite happy with the last of those because then <laughs> the first two are kind of implicit um but um and also because you know, there are lots of things that I, I could talk about in the three points that I that I think are, are you know are particularly interesting. But in the in the end, people come to these events for different reasons. You know, people are looking for, for for different things. So as long as they go away, from my perspective, if they go away on the on the Sunday thinking that was cool and I'm I definitely want to come back again this you know next year, then we've then we've done our jobs. You know, it's 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 it, I, it's it's really it's great for me that the number of people who came to the event in October of last year who are coming back again this year um, is, um, you know, it's really gratifying because it kind of does mean that you've, you've, you've done something that, that they have felt was really valuable. Um, so if we, can, if we can get the same out of this one, then I'll be very happy. And do you see, I know you mentioned people coming coming back um, again and again, and they're, they're loyal and um, they obviously really enjoyed themselves. Did you see um, many coming back from 2017 and 2018? The attendees that attended back then it seems like so long ago and it wasn't it's only a few years ago well the thing is the thing is most of the people that were at those 2017 2018 um uh events were investing in crypto yes so do they still go to event do they need to or are they all sitting on their yachts now i don't know yeah so um, the new wave we've a new wave <laughs> yeah, yeah. we said that i said that uh, it's we do have people so you know there are uh, some of the media partners that um, that attended that very first event um, are still friends, um, you know, still people that I keep in touch with, and and uh, and those guys are coming back. Um, so, and and a number of the people that that have spoken over the years, I've got people speaking this year who have who who probably some of whom did originally speak back in 2017-18. I had it was actually quite funny. I was. Um, so crypto Gibraltar has two different kind of elements to it. It's 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 we run quarterly meetups for the the DLT, the ecosystem, the community in Gibraltar, and then the event that's happening in September is kind of the main conference of that. And uh, we had our uh, uh, we had our uh, a Q two meetup uh, at uh, the beginning of um, what well, the end of 
June. Um, and I was chatting to someone who was at the very first event that in fact even preceded my event um, and uh, was talking about a guy who had stood up and was talking about Bitcoin. And it was actually an event that was aimed at the gaming community in Gibraltar. Uh, I, was, I, need, sorry, I need to be careful. When they, call, they talk about gaming, I mean the gambling community. So Gibraltar mm. is a massive online gambling center. Um, yes. And um, talking about Bitcoin, um, and he actually, the guy was saying to me, he remembered that this guy was giving away 14 Bitcoin wow. Wow. For, people to, for people to play with. <laughs> um, and the guy who, the, and, and, and I didn't know he was coming, but the guy who, who, who it was that gave that presentation, 15 minutes later, turned up to the meetup. Um, and uh, he was one of the founders of um, the Bitcoin Foundation. Wow. Um, now runs his own uh, his own consultancy business um, and whatever. Um, and so and these guys are still around. So, you know, he, they, he may very well speak um, at this event as well. Uh, but it, yeah, it is, it is quite funny when I think about someone standing up and saying, listen, here's 14 Bitcoin. Who wants one? Wow. And they're the stories, you know, they're the stories that you that we want to hear because it's, you know, for me, I I saw a lot of people doing very well from it. And it, yeah. it, in, in a way, it's kind of aspiring saying okay well there's all there's new opportunities here you know it gives you a sense that there's opportunities out there you want to learn and i want to see where where those opportunities lie especially for anyone who's creative or innovative at all you know um yeah definitely we're, we're thinking about casinos as well for this um for this conference are we <laughs> <laughs> well strangely enough it's always been a very very popular concept amongst people coming to crypto events so um so gibraltar has its own casino Amazing. Uh, and it's right in Ocean Village. So, oh, right. <laughs> so where we're where we're where we're creating the party on Saturday night. In fact, the brunch on the Saturday morning is in the same building as the casino. Um, so you have a you have a building called Leisure Island, which sits right in the middle of Ocean Village. And uh yeah, Gibraltar's main casino is is in there. There's another casino as well. On we have a, a hotel which is a uh like a, a yacht hotel um called Sunborn. It has its own casino as well. What I've tried to do in the past uh, is actually to, I wanted to run a uh, crypto Gibraltar poker tournament. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, you know, people just, in this, in, this, in this industry, people love all that. It's actually proved quite much more difficult than I thought it was going to, and I haven't got any plans to do it this year, but, hey, maybe I'll try and, maybe I've got a little bit more time this time. Maybe I'll try and stick that one in there. Yeah, maybe we, we'll um we'll hook you up at Miles. He does the um ice poker tournaments in Decentraland. Maybe we can okay. get a little bit of a um decentralized metaverse poker experience. But um yeah, the, so I, I'm like as you know, I'm I'm dying to come out there and I'm gonna speak about Web three communication or whatever on the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that um it's important to be present as well in real life. Shake hands with a few people as well. So I will, you know, we'd encourage people to come along and say hello and, and meet and greet us um i have something to ask you now and it's an important question um if there was one person that you could choose only one <laughs> that you could choose to be um a speaker at your conference next month in september who would you choose well this is a that's a nightmare anyway, no 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 money no amount of bitcoin matters you know all the bitcoin in the world but who would it be well, the, the, the honest truth is, it probably wouldn't have anything to do with crypto. Yes, um, great. So, so probably, I'm going to show my age here, but probably Billy Connolly. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because, because A, he'd be funny. Um, and the second thing is, he'd put things in perspective. Yes. You know, I think that's something all of us could do with a little bit more of sometimes. Well, get Billy Connolly out there. He'd be, he'd be the main main guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it'd be it'd be great. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I could have, you know, I could have sat here and come up with kind of, you know, names of, of well-known people in the um, in the crypto industry. But honestly, that's who I'd rather. That's who I'd rather have. Yeah. And we'd all go to him. You know, the yeah, yeah. It's, it's easy. And Elon Musk, I'm sure they'd love to um, to go see Billy Connolly. You know, <laughs> they'd be lucky. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. So. So I think we got um we got all we need to know about Crypto Gibraltar. And I'll just um repeat that it's taking place in September, September 22nd to 24th. And we hope to see 
um, all of our viewers there. And um, Pete, it was lovely to meet you and to have a chat today. Uh, absolute pleasure again. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, it would be um, it'd be great to see as many people out in Gibraltar as as possible. The sun will, the weather will be fantastic still. So you know, if if you if you're thoroughly sick of the summer or lack of summer wherever you are, then um, come down and see us. Join us in Gibraltar for some fun. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, thanks. All right.